Hello, this is Professor Harper again, and today we're going to be talking about ethics. And I think that the important thing um, to consider when it comes to ethics is, you know, classic line, what's ethical may not be legal, and what's legal may not be ethical. So ethics are important, particularly when it comes to a consideration for a defamation and libel case, because if, you're, if you face a libel charge, oftentimes that will be based on whether you followed what are called generally accepted newsroom standards and practices and the ethical guidelines of journalism. So there are a variety of ethical structures and I, I think what's important here is that you need to find one that works for you and you need to look at that structure before you face a serious ethical issue. There's first of all something called the golden mean and Aristotle based this uh, ethical structure on the belief that moral virtue, vir virtue is the approximate location between two extremes. And the point here is that it's the, it's the, <clears throat> the point between two positives rather than the extreme bad and the extreme good. This ethical structure um, underlines balance as a necessity. So let me give you an example of, of two goods. Uh, I, I should ethically give to the fire department of Philadelphia or my church. Um, and so somewhere I choose a balance between the two and maybe I give half of my money to the church and half of the money to the fire department. The golden rule is something that most of us are familiar with, love your neighbor as yourself. And as an ethical structure, um, it affects decisions involving pornography, privacy, social justice, and violence in the, me in the media. And it essentially is to prevent the exploitation of those with less power in our society. The categorical imperative is one that you may or may not heard of. It was created by Immanuel Kant, an 18th century German philosopher, and journalism is often called Kant light. Um, individuals should act on the maximum maxim that you want to to become a universal law. So an ethical decision must apply to everyone equally. There's the principle of utility, which comes from John Stuart Mill, and that moral decision stress, stresses the usefulness of the results. A more recent one is called The Veil of Ignorance by 20th century philosopher John Rawls, and that ethical decisions should occur when you have devised a way to make yourself equal with all members of society. So you try to, to approach a situation without any bias, um, without reference to your age, race, social standing, and other qualities. It would essentially be the same as objectivity in the theory of journalism. Although, as you may learn from me, I think that objectivity is, is almost impossible, if not impossible, in journalism because we all have our biases. There's something that a lot of people think has value, and it's called the Potter's Box, which is not named after Harry Potter, but Ralph Potter of Harvard Divinity School. And what the, the Potter Box tries to do is incorporate all these ethical philosophies and delineate what works, what doesn't work. And so, first of all, what you need to do is define the issue so that you you essentially said, okay, here's the problem. Let's say, for example, uh, I think that uh, smoking cigarettes is a bad thing um, and is an unethical thing. And so I am assigned to do a uh, media campaign for selling cigarettes in the developing world. Okay. The issue becomes, should I participate in the unethical sale of cigarettes to people in the developing world. Then you need to identify the values. Okay, <clears throat> What are the specific things in the in your set of values um, that affect this ethical decision? Then you apply the ethical principles that I just went through. Should you apply the, the golden rule, the golden mean, uh, the categorical imperative, um, the, uh, the uh, uh, utility, the principle of utility? And then you need to choose your loyalties. And here's where 
<clears throat> it becomes important um, in terms of how you apply those principles. What is most important to you? Are you loyal to yourself and therefore cigarettes are unethical, the sale of cigarettes is unethical, therefore you need to say to your boss, I'm not going to do this, okay? You'll probably get fired. That's your choice. Is your first loyalty to your family? You are the only one who provides uh, an income to your wife, your children, and so therefore if you take this ethical stand and you think it's so important, you're likely to use your, lose your job and um, that's going to affect your family. Is your loyalty to your company? You've been asked to do this campaign, you disagree with it, but for the most part your company has been quite ethical, treated you well, and so therefore your first loyalty is to your company. And then you choose whether your loyalty, your most important loyalty is to your nation, your state, your community, and then you apply, you look through the prism of that loyalty when it comes to the ethical nature of the campaign and whether you will participate in it. Now there are some clear violations when it comes to ethics, fabrication, plagiarism, conflict of interest, illegal acts, and privacy. There are a variety of codes of ethics which do provide some guidance when it comes to journalism. The American Society of News Editors, the Society of Professional Journalists, probably the one that most journalists go to, the Associated Press Managing Editors, or now Media Editors, um, and there's also the Public Relations Society of America. And what's interesting is that the journalist codes are voluntary, but if you violate the codes when it comes to the Public Relations Society, media, media me PR members who violate the code will be expelled, and it's the only media code with specific penalties. But it's important for you to, to know what the ethics code of your news organization uh, is or your business is so that um, you are familiar with it because sometimes you can you, you will be questioned on on whether you know what the ethics code is particularly in with respect to journalism when it comes to um, a defamation or, or libel suit. The, the various ethics codes have, you know, themes of accuracy, fairness, objectivity, truthfulness, the public's right to know, events of public importance and the interest and is the overriding mission of the mass media. Um, and here are a variety of, of websites. Um, I've also added here the National Press Photographers, which is a very good uh, um, uh, guideline and, and ethical issues for photographers as well as other journalists. So. That's ethics. Thank you, and we'll see you online.